All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about running boards for 2019 Honda Ridgeline. And it would have fit all the way up to 2024, bought it on eBay. And sometimes you never know about the stuff you get on eBay, but these were actually great. And that's who I bought it from, $164.99, seemed to be the best deal. There were some a little bit cheaper with not as good as reviews. And I think this was like five bucks cheaper than buying it from them or on Amazon from them. So, but check it out here. Anyway, that's the information. And here's how it came packaged up, top of the box. And check it out, like they did an excellent job making sure that the no damage was gonna come to these. And it's got everything here with the instructions and all the brackets. And this is literally, this is actually the second time I've done one of these vehicles with one of these. And it was so easy. I thought I would just put this out there to say, hey, you know, even if you don't have a whole lot of know-how or not super mechanically inclined, I'm definitely not when it comes to vehicles. This is something you can do. You just pretty much need a, uh, a good socket set. And it's all just straight bolt on. So this is what bolts these brackets to the truck and then use these to bolt the actual running boards to the brackets. And it's super easy. And this is what it looks like right here. All packaged up, super nice from eBay from those guys. Excellent job. And so we're gonna get it put on the ridge line. So here's what it looks like without and we're just gonna pop them up real quick. Those are cool moves, man. All right, as we get in this, passenger front, passenger center, passenger rear, looks like maybe that's remarked. Don't know why. Over here, driver's rear, driver's center, driver front. So super important. We're gonna start on the passenger side, so we're gonna start with these. Looks like all of these are the same. Everything screws in, so there's no nuts, but we're gonna use this big boy to tighten everything down. And it is a 13, 13 millimeter, we'll get the job done here. So now we're gonna attach those brackets to the sides here. All right, so we are here. At this point, there's the middle of the two doors. That's right about where the first bracket's gonna go. I assumed it would be back here and I was looking, but it's not, it's right about there. So just an FYI. Also, these bolts here. <laughs> Do not instill a lot of confidence, just painted cheap bolts. Uh, so we're going to put some red on there. Uh, my goal is to never take these back off. That's why I'm gonna use the red instead of the blue. I, I have more of a concern about something backing out or rattling out with as much as I drive as many miles as I'm gonna put on it. So I'm doing red. I'm also gonna use my impact to get it started. It's kind of a long bolt once you put it up. You have, you'll have like that much to screw in. So I'm gonna use my impact to get it in, kind of snug, and then uh, we'll hand tighten everything with the uh, wrench kind of at the last moment. So we should have enough time before it sets in. Okay, so I'd use my impact to just get it snug. Now there's really no wiggle room. There's really no room for adjustment. Hold on, Bob. Yes, they are. Your shoes are on the right feet. Nope, they're still on the wrong feet. Okay, I hit it with my impact till it stopped. Then I went over it by hand, and from there all it did was start to crush and bend these. So I went till I felt like any further and something was probably gonna totally break. This cheap metal is just gonna fold, crack, break, um, or the head's gonna snap off. So I went to where I, I, I did it with the impact till it stopped, and that's not a, that's a middleweight impact. It's not a super big, heavy impact so um anyway i probably got maybe three quarter turn on it after that where and i stopped and felt like that was good especially with the red thread lock on there and that's that's good i don't i didn't read the instructions but sometimes they say don't tighten it all the way down until you get the if i remember right that's how i did it last time but there's like i said there's no wiggle room so it's gonna go on the way it's gonna go on and this is honestly could be bent if needed although it looks like it's gonna be fine so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other two here and here on and get it all tightened down with the red thread lock all right so oh, we got it just about in place here I'm gonna put the the uh, attachment bolts here now these 
Um, I'll probably do blue thread lock. So for now, I'm just going to run them in because I don't have any blue thread lock. I thought I did, but I don't. But I'm not going to put red on here because if it does get damaged or if I ever wanted to replace them or warranty or anything like that, um, I do want to be able to take this part off. However, the brackets is what I was more concerned with. Uh, anyway, so for now, we're just going to run them in. Then eventually, I'll get some blue thread lock and kind of check up on them. So, um, but that's it. Now, one thing I want to mention going through this is always put your lid back on in case you drop something, all your expensive red out. Uh, anyway, there's different colors plastic. It's not color coordinated. So don't think all the greens, the driver's side, and all the clears, the passengers said so that is not the case. However, everything, if you look, is marked. So just pay attention. Don't, like I said, don't uh, think that everything's color coordinated because it's absolutely not. All right, so I'm um, just hand tightening the bolts for now. This one started to give a little as far as not being quite lined up. Now I get down here and I'm off a little ways. However, like I said, this can be bent pretty easily. So I'm gonna get an extra hand uh, help and just kind of bend this over. I might just take my foot and try to bend it a little bit. Um, but otherwise, this kind of looked off to me when I put it on like it was bent a little bit. So I think it is just a little bit bent out of the box. So we're gonna bend it back a little bit. All right, it's on and it's secure. Get everything run in. And for my kid, hey, Ricky, come here. We're doing a video. Show him what it looks like stepping up on it. For my kid, perfect. Okay, good job. Now step out. Show him what it looks like stepping out. Perfect for him to get in and out. Now, for, you know, 175. I step on it, it has some flex. Has a little give in the bracket, I would say. Um, and then over here on the, maybe on the board itself, the whole thing just has a little give. Um, and I don't know if that's the bracket or where it's attached to or what, but a little bit. So if you're, if you're a big boy, this may not be the brand you wanna go for, but uh, I'm not gonna be stepping on it. This is solely for the kids. So for the kids, it's perfect. Even a teenager, I think would be fine. Even so, even if you had a kid my weight, I think you'd be fine. I probably wouldn't go much more than 200 pounds on that. I'm just saying, I, I see some flex there. And the other thing to note, if you don't have kids, I would not put these on here because they are severe shin smashers. If you don't need them, if you don't have kids, don't put running boards on because you do not need them on this vehicle for an adult. An adult does not need a step. And I had this on the last Ridgeline that I had. Without the kids, I was like, man, I would take these off in a heartbeat, but I've got little, little kids and it's, I'll be getting rid of the truck before my kids are old enough not to need them. So they do, they are kind of a hindrance for bashing your shin. Um, and as an adult now getting in, you kind of have to step around it. So I wouldn't put these on as for for an adult or even for a senior or anything like that. You don't need it. Um, but for your kids, they're great. Great for kids. And I think this looks good too. Looks pretty good. Let's get the other side done. All right, so I wasn't joking when I said cheap Chinese bolt. Not sure. These holes up here are a little bit rusty because it's 2019 and 2024. So a couple of them I had to run the bolt in first, but I guess that's cross threaded. I only got about maybe not even two full turns and it just, the bolt just snapped, but it was still going just fine. So I don't know if it's actually cross threaded or if the bolt just snapped. The holes are definitely a little rusty. So now I got to get some pliers on there and pull that bolt out and get a replacement bolt. All right, so here's my bolt. I got it out with the pliers and I don't, I don't think it was cross-threaded. You see the amount of rust there though. I think that uh, it's just super gummed up. So we're gonna go get a new bolt now and I will just WD-40 the new bolt and kind of be as careful as I can to thread it in and kind of clear that hole out 
shoot some WD-40 in there, and then I'll shoot some carb cleaner in to clean that out before I put my run my new bolt in. <laughs> kind of the problem is here is you've got your brake lines right here, and I can get there no problem with this guy, but um, uh, in this case, I was using my impact to kind of run those bolts in and, and back out, and that seemed to blow through the the gunk just fine. I did that twice on the other side, no problem. Couldn't do it on this side because I can get my my uh, socket and ratchet up in here, but can't get the impact on it. So I'm not going to go through and take any of this stuff off. So just be kind of careful here. Anyway, let's go buy a new bolt. All right, Rand's at our wear store. Got a, it's got the 8.8. .8. It's an eight millimeter bolt with a 1.25 pitch. And I just put it through the hole and it busted right through that rust. No problem. I can't believe that snapped off because of some rust. Anyway, yeah, this one I threaded all the way up and pulled it back out. No problem at all. So we'll go ahead uh, and use that. I got an extra one just in case. But otherwise, I can reuse the lock washer and the regular washer. So let's finish this up. All right, guys, it's done. And... I kind of come back to the reason I chose these because I like how it angled in a little bit more and how close it actually comes, super close. And really what I was wanting to get away from was something that stuck out too far that was too big. So these are the smaller, I think the three inch, and uh, they really hug the side and kind of curve in. So the least amount of stuff I'd bash my shins on. I think they turned out pretty good. Um, you know, at this point, the bolt issue, that's just kind of how it is with stuff these days. But, uh, this side's solid once I fixed that bolt issue. Um, I didn't really have much of an issue. I had to kind of, I did have to, I bolted those on, then I had to get a, put a leg on the wheel and kind of pull this back and was able to get my bolts in. Um, so these, this one I think is bent just a little bit and maybe it's supposed to flex like that. I don't know. It was a little bit of a pain, but all said and done, I did it by myself. No big deal. And, uh, they will serve the purpose. Now, if you were like religious about your truck, I probably would definitely go with a name brand, but for me, it's going to serve the purpose and they can stay on, uh, till I'm done with the truck. So yeah, hope this review helps somebody and, uh, Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.